All right, students. Now uh, we've seen a lot of string functions, few string functions and how they work and what kind of effect they can lay on our databases. It's time for us to move on to the next part, which is numeric functions. Numeric functions are the built-in numeric functions which can, uh, you know, ease out certain operations when it comes to numeric databases. One of that is apps function, which we're going to discuss today in this particular session, right? In this particular short video. So the function is apps function. Let's say I select uh, let's say I run this particular query, select the product name, comma, price of that particular product from employees or from, let's say, products. Okay, I'll just strengthen them. Okay, so this is the query that I'm running right now, right? Quite uh, clearly, all of us know that these are the column names that we have, product name and price. These are the column names. These are the columns that we are fetching from the data. This is our table from which we are fetching the data. Obviously, we would have used a query like use a certain database. Let's say here, use products, right? Product database, right? So I would have already run this query and using that, I'm running a particular database, which is having the details of all the products and products itself is a table inside that particular database. Now, here I'm under the suspicion that perhaps price might have a entry, which uh, maybe there's there are a lot of human errors when it comes to entering the data over here. So there might be a case in which somebody might have entered a negative price over there by mistake, right? So there's something called as apps function, which can be used to ensure that even if there's a negative value present, we can actually correct that. So how can we correct this particular query? What we can do is we can, this is how we'll re write, rewrite the query over here. I'll just rewrite, select product name and now instead of putting in the price just price what I'll do is I'll put this price under this particular function apps parenthesis open parenthesis closed from products right and then I'll close the query over here now what this particular part will do for example this particular portion now what this column is going to give us is the absolute value of the price it's going to give us the absolute value of the price. For example, prices entered might be, let's say, 2700, 1400, or let's say 13,000. Now, by mistake, there's an entry something like minus 6250. And this is a mistake over here. I like to avoid it. I like to have the column over here, ensuring that the price is never negative. It This negative should be ignored. That's where this particular function apps can be used. And now this particular function, this particular column will always show the positive value of that particular price. So if if I run something like apps 2700, the output will be 2700 only. It won't touch the positive number. But if I run something like apps minus 6250, you know, the result over here will be 6250. So it's going to take care of the negative sign and it's going to reflect only the positive and the magnitude of that particular number, which I want over here. Now we can have our own way. We can, when it comes to this particular text, what we can do is we can as price. I can run this as price. Now the price will come out to be only positive and the risk that the price might be negative or it, there might be an error in price can be taken care of over here. Let's see this now in SQL. All right, so let's take an example over here. I have uh, taken this particular uh, database called as orders. I'm looking at the entire product table over here. So for the sake of explanation, what I'll do is I'll insert some demo data, some wrong data into the uh, table over here. Insert into product and let me just insert product underscore id and product price right and the values that i'm inserting uh, I'll, I'll just keep them wrong for id i can be anything but let's say price i mistakenly enter four five double hundred okay so this is the wrong price that I'm having over here. I'm just inserting this wrong data in the table. We can then later drop it. And now if I select, oops, 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 oops. Now if I select star from product, and see, I think that negative value is going to come later on over here. So there are two negative values that I've entered previously as well. Now I want the price. I just want to display the product ID and the product price so that the product, whatever manual error when it comes to negative numbers can be taken care of. Here I can use my apps function over here, product underscore ID, comma. Now instead of just price, what I'll do is I'll put this price inside ABS 
And this ABS price is going to give me my absolute value of the price. And I'll use the alias of the column as price from product, right? So please remember this 7789 and 8859, the last two. And once I run this, okay, there is some kind of error. What is it? Unknown go field list. Okay, so sorry. This is actually product underscore price right now if i run this i'll get the product id and the price and if i look at the last two product which was seven seven eight nine and the wrong ones are now being given as positive part of the price only and the negative sign has been taken care of this is the application of absolute value now if there are ten thousand uh, rows over here and you don't you don't want to check every row is the entry correct over there you can use a function like this to ensure that the positive value or the absolute value or the magnitude of that particular number is reflected